This still is an unusual year because the Democratic frontrunner, sitting President Biden, did not appear on the party's primary ballot in the Granite State. Brandon Truitt joins us live now from the incumbent's write-in campaign in Manchester. And a big night for them, Brandon. It was indeed, and in fact, a unique one at that. President Joe Biden did not spend a dime on his campaign in New Hampshire. In fact, he never filed the paperwork to be on the ballot after the Democratic National Committee opted to move their first in the nation primary to South Carolina. Now, President Joe Biden wasn't even in New Hampshire tonight when he won. Instead, he opted for a campaign event in Virginia. That's where he thanked folks who wrote his name in up here and set his eyes on the general election. I'm betting. Come November, we will vote on a record numbers. And when we do that, we'll teach Donald Trump a valuable lesson. Today's primary here for Democrats is essentially void, but despite it, hundreds of people worked for months in this grassroots effort to get his name written in, hoping to send a message to the rest of the country. Look, this just shows democracy at work, and New Hampshire is a great representation of that. And this this whole race is choosing democracy over dictatorship. Donald Trump said that he would be a dictator. I don't want to live in a country where the president is a dictator. And so that's why I'm working so hard to make sure that Joe Biden wins re-election. And you mentioned this off the top, but ride in votes simply take longer to count. And because of it, the state is warning they may ha not have the entire scope of uh, the totals here for the president until possibly tomorrow. Live in Manchester, Brandon Drew at WBZ News. Yeah, so unusual there. Brandon, thank you.